Hi friends, welcome back to my channel and a very special welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach. I'm on Weight Watchers and I count calories and macros. Happy Sunday, it's Sunday, so we always do a really fun, kind of different video on Sundays. And today's video, I'm really excited about because it's all about snacks. And I'm going to be sharing with you some healthy snacks that I have discovered for the new year. If you follow me here on my channel, you know that I've lost over 136 pounds. I am right about at my goal weight, and my goals for 2023 are to not only clean up my diet, but get lean and strong. So I'm looking for some snack foods that have good ingredients that are healthy so that I can have healthy snacks on hand. And I have a lot to share with you today. So if you're excited, give this video a big, huge thumbs up. Make sure you're subscribed and your bell is turned on because I upload five videos a week. And like I said, we always do something kind of fun on Sundays. Down in the description box, you will find nutrition coaching where I offer personalized to you macros and calories. Highly, highly recommend. This is how I've been very successful in my weight loss. And I have one-on-one -on -one coaching if you would like to talk with me directly. Links and discounts to my other favorite healthy things and come join our Facebook group. We would love to have you. I have two bags of healthy snacks, so let's jump in. what healthy snack video doesn't involve a taste test. I know that you guys like when I taste test products on camera so I can give you my first impressions. None of the items that I picked up for today's video I've tried in the past. So this is going to be a true first impression taste test. I'm going to share with you all of the points for all of the healthy snacks. We'll talk about the calories, the macros. We're going to deep dive into these snacks and we're going to taste test every single one of them. Lucky for me, I'm a little bit hungry and I could definitely use a snack. Let's jump into healthy snack number one. First up are these perfect bars. So these are actually the snack size perfect bars. I picked mine up in dark chocolate chip peanut butter with sea salt. Now these are actually in the refriger refrigerated section of your grocery store by the yogurt. Now typically the perfect bar is pretty high in calories, pretty high in points, but the snack size are really, really good when it comes to their macro profile. So each bar has 130 calories. You're going to get six grams of protein, which is nothing to sneeze at for 130 calories. And like I said, they are in the refrigerated section, so you do need to keep them cold. So they're not really a portable snack unless you're going to eat them relatively quickly after leaving your home, but you could certainly leave these in a refrigerator at, work, at your workplace or anywhere that you are able to keep them cold. I just pulled these little guys out of my fridge. These are so adorable. So here's what the bar looks like. These look really good. They smell very peanut buttery. These are really good. Peanut butter, Forward. I mean, really good, intense peanut butter flavor. I love the crunch and sweetness of the chocolate chips. These are really, really good. These would be a really good dessert option because they are a little bit on the sweeter side. Or if you're kind of craving something sweet in the afternoon, this would be a great option. You do get eight bars in the box. And again, you just find those in your refrigerated section of your grocery store. The other thing I found by the yogurts are these Chobani Complete Drinkable Yogurt Shakes. Now I have heard a lot of things about these and I've never tried them. Now they are a little bit high in calories. There is 200 calories per container, but there is 25 grams of protein. And it says zero added sugar, 25 grams of complete protein, no lactose. So if you're sensitive to lactose, this is a good option. Billions of probiotics and nine essential amino acids. I did pick mine up in the flavor banana cream. Oh, wow. That is really, really delicious. It has a little bit of the tang of the yogurt, but it really reminds me of the Chobani Greek yogurt in liquid form. That's exactly what it tastes like. The banana flavor is really, really good in this. This would make an excellent snack. We typically want to keep our snacks between about 150 and 250 calories. And the fact that this has 25 grams of protein actually makes this a really good snack 
and it tastes pretty darn delicious. Next up are these Nola bars. Now I found these at Sprouts. These were buy one, get one free, and I believe they were $10 a box, which is pretty pricey, but with the buy one, get one free, it was $5 per box. There's four bars, so it's a little over a dollar per bar, and they range from 130 calories to 150 calories. This one has three grams of protein. This one has six grams of protein. So these are keto bars, and typically keto products are generally a little bit higher in fat. So I don't consume a lot of keto marketed products, not to mention they're really expensive because they put the word keto on there, which could be the case with these. These do have 12 grams of fat, 11 grams and 12 grams. So they are a little bit higher in fat, but the good thing about healthy fat is it keeps you full and pairing that with the protein and do we have fiber? Yes, we have five grams of fiber in this one, eight grams in this one. So that actually makes these a really, really well rounded bar. So here is what they look like. And the first one we're going to try is the white chocolate macadamia nut. Ooh, look how good that looks. There's little white chocolate chips on top. Smells really good. Wow. Mmm. These are so good. Oh my gosh, absolutely delicious. It is kind of ooey gooey, like caramelized buttery. Wow, these are really good. Perfect Keto Nola Bars deliciously deliver keto carb conscious fuel so you can conquer your day. Indulge in decadent white chocolate and macadamia nuts in a convenient chewy bar. Wow, that's real good. That is really good. So they are sweetened with stevia, but I don't get any aftertaste at all. I mean, they're really, really delicious. Now we're going to try the peanut butter one. Look at that. You know what this reminds me of? A payday. The payday candy bars. That's what this looks like. That's also what it smells like. <laughs> and tastes like. Oh my goodness. Payday. Payday candy bar right here. Mmm. Delicious. Absolutely absolutely delicious 10 out of 10 recommend now these i found at walmart and i've seen these a few times in store and i put them in my cart taken them out of my cart and i thought if we're going to do a healthy test taste test snack video we need to pick these up finally these are from the brand junkless and i grabbed the peanut butter chocolate chip truey chewy granola bars it says no hydrogenated oils no high fructose corn syrup no artificial flavors colorative colors or preservatives no fake stuff there's six grams of sugar per bar 130 calories and three grams of protein so not a super high protein bar which is fine because typically granola bars aren't meant to be a protein bar this is more of just a snack bar and if you love granola bars this is going to be a healthy option so here is what they look like Reminds me of the Quaker granola bars, the chewy ones. Smells really good. Yummy. Really, really good. Wow. This says real food for real people. At Junkless Foods, we believe great tasting snacks can be made simply without all the complexity, excess baggage that comes from a lab. Things like cheap fruit pieces, fake flavorings, and genetically modified organisms or GMOs. At Junkless, we've gone back to basics by using some whole ingredients that your family will love and trust. And you can actually pronounce it. It's really good. I mean, it's really, really good. So what's in here is whole grain rolled oats, brown rice syrup, natural peanut butter, rice crisps, dark chocolate chips, non-GMO canola oil, and salt. That's it. Nice, clean ingredients and a much, much better alternative than the Quaker Chewy Bars. Here's another thing I grabbed at Walmart. I actually heard about these on someone's YouTube channel. I think it was Alexandra Rodriguez here on YouTube. I'll link her channel down below. She was talking about these Kodiak Chewy Granola Bars. These actually have seven grams of protein and I picked up the dark chocolate. They're 140 calories and again, seven grams of protein, which is pretty darn good for a granola bar. It's over double what was in those junkless ones. Here is what it looks like. Now this one is definitely thicker and larger than the junkless. It does have only about, it only has 10 more calories as well. So let's taste it so we can compare. Impressive. Mmm really good i don't taste any protein like protein aftertaste or anything it's very chocolatey very chewy actually really great as well i mean either one of these granola bars are great options if you're looking for a little more protein grab the kodiak if you just want kind of a sweet 
take you back to your childhood Quaker granola bar, grab the junk list, but they're both excellent. I talk about Simple Mills a lot in my grocery hauls because I really, really enjoy this brand. They have really clean ingredients and I thought I would grab a sweet treat from them. I generally buy their crackers. I love all of their crackers. Their rosemary ones are amazing. They're black salt and pepper. So I grabbed the seed and nut flour sweet thins and mint chocolate because you already know I love mint anything. When I say clean ingredients in these, I mean clean ingredients. Here's your ingredients in here. Seed and nut flour blend including watermelon, cashew, sunflower, and flax flour, interesting watermelon flour, hmm. coconut sugar, tapioca starch, arrowroot, cocoa butter, Dutch cocoa powder, cocoa extract, baking soda, rosemary extract for fresh, freshness, sea salt, peppermint extract, and cream of tartar. That's it. And you actually get 12 cookies for 140 calories and you get three grams of protein, which is not bad for a cracker slash cookie combo. So here's the size of them. Not bad at all. You could even half the serving and have six of them and that's going to break your points in half as well. My mint dreams, my mint chocolate dreams. You know what these taste like? These literally taste like the Thin Mint cookies from Girl Scouts. They're crunchy, they're chocolatey, they're minty. I really like these. I think these may be a new go-to healthy snack for me. So far, I feel like we have really nailed it with these healthy snacks. I'm so excited about these. Here's another one that I found at Sprouts. These are the rice bar with two eyes. The rice bar, and I have mine in cocoa or Choco Orange. They're 93 calories per bar and they are crispy puffed rice bars. There's five of them in the package. They're, like I said, 93 calories a piece. They only have five grams of fat and then only one gram of protein. So again, this is going to be a sweet treat. This is going to be a bar you could pair with some protein like a hard boiled egg or a cheese stick or maybe some meat. You can always enjoy these types of things and still get your protein in by pairing these with some type of healthy protein. So here's the size of the bar. They are pretty good size. They are fully, and I mean fully covered in chocolate. They smell like those chocolate oranges that you get at Christmas, which I love. Mm -hmm. This is like a chocolate covered rice cake. The crunch of a rice cake, the taste texture of a rice cake with the amazing orange flavor. Oh my gosh, the flavor is really good. Can you see that? It looks like a rice cake, legit rice cake. This is really good. This is a great sweet treat. If you love chocolate and orange and they actually had several different flavors, I'm definitely going to buy a few more. I mean, 93 calories and this is a huge bar. It's literally a chocolate covered delicious rice cake. Next up are Chetties. If you've been following me for a while, you know that I used to buy Chetties all the time. I discovered them when I actually flew to Arizona to do the home inspection for the home that we ended up purchasing. I found these at Sprouts and was like, I need these. These are a cracker with protein. And then they disappeared, literally disappeared off the shelf. I went on their website. It said that they would be restocking in Sprouts in August. And I just saw them now in January, completely different packaging. They used to come in a bag, but I'm pretty sure these are the same crackers. A few other changes is now they only have six grams of protein when before they had eight, but nobody's complaining about six grams of protein in a cracker. You get an entire ounce of them. There's four servings per box for 130 calories. And here's your ingredients in these. Wheat flour, organic cheddar cheese, cornstarch, whey protein, cane sugar, onion powder, and jasmine extract. That's it. I mean, for crackers, you're going to get a really clean option and six grams of protein. So here's what they look like. These look exactly like the Chetties that came in a bag. Please, fingers crossed, these are the same crackers because those were amazing. These are them. These are Chetties. I'm so happy these are back. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy. These were a complete go-to for me. They are a Cheez-It, but better. They're crunchy, and the cheese flavor of these is like, is real cheese. It's not that fake cheese. If you know, you know. When it comes to cheese, it's not that I don't like cheese, it's but six grams of protein, clean ingredients. I'm seriously so happy that these are back and that I can buy these whenever I want is sprouts. Now these bars, you guys recommended that I try several comments on these bars. These are a keto bar. Again, remember keto typically means high fat. These do have 12 grams of fat in them, but these are from the brand Monk Pack. 
and a lot of you said that I would really enjoy these because they're sweetened with monk fruit and I love Lakanto. You guys know I love their monk fruit. So I did grab the blueberry almond vanilla. There's one gram of sugar, three net carbs, five grams of protein. They are grain free and they are plant based. 140 calories per bar. Not bad at all. I mean, like I said, they're a little higher in fat because they are keto bars. Here is the size of them. And they had four or five different flavors at Sprouts. And again, I have the blueberry almond vanilla. Here's what it looks like. Doesn't that look so good? There's a little drizzle of frosting. And the blueberry is just radiating from this bar. It's very strong blueberry scented. I see you, Monk Pack. I see you. This is delicious. I mean, absolutely delicious. It's chewy. It's sweet, it's nutty. I get the crunch and texture of the nuts. It's sweetened with allulose, which is a sweetener derived from figs and raisins. It's a really good natural sweetener. And then there's also some monk fruit extract as well, hence why they're called monk pack. This is really good. I mean, absolutely delicious. A great option for a granola bar that's actually going to deliver you a decent amount of protein. Next up is bean. Bada bean, bada boom. Now I used to buy these all the time. Actually, when I was only doing Weight Watchers, I would pick these up a lot because they usually sell bada bean, bada boom at gas stations. Well, they've repackaged because this is definitely new packaging. So I thought I'd try them again. It's been several years. This is the sea salt and you get one ounce. It's 110 calories and there is six grams of protein. And basically what these are is fava beans or broad beans. So it says broad beans, with plant-based protein and fiber, roasted for crunch, seasoned to perfection. So I'm excited to try these. It's been such a long time. I don't even remember what they taste like. I just remember them being really crunchy, kind of like a corn nut. So here's what they look like. Those are really good. I get salty, I get crunchy. They're good. They don't taste like beans at all. They definitely give me a little bit more of a corn nut vibe. Really good. They're also vegan, non-GMO, and gluten-free. Now, I love being a chickpeas. This is another thing I like to buy a lot are chickpeas, roasted chickpeas, chickpea snacks, because they're really high in protein, and they're just another good, crunchy, healthier alternative to a crunchy snack like a chip. I saw that they had the Vienna Super Crunch Schoolhouse Classic. So this is a trail mix. And you guys know I love trail mix. That's another snack I really love. And this one contains Vienna chickpeas, dark chocolate gems, fava crisps, and pretzels. Made with dark chocolate, four grams of protein, and 60% la less sugar. It says peanut free, 100% plant based. So one ounce is 120 calories. There is five grams of fat and again, four grams of protein and two grams of fiber. Let me shake this up. So when it comes to trail mix, that's actually really good macros and points for trail mix. We got all our pretzels on top. Let me kind of dig down here. So here it is. It looks really good. It smells really good. Sweet. Salty. Oh, these are really good. And you're actually getting chickpeas and fava crisps, which are both really good sources of plant-based protein. Again, an excellent, excellent alternative to traditional trail mix, a much better nutrient profile and much healthier ingredients. Another thing I found at Walmart were wisps. Now I've tried wisps in the past, but I have never tried this flavor. And you guys know I don't like spicy, but I love pepper jack cheese. Explain that one to me. But pepper jack cheese is my favorite. So when I saw this, I'm like, yes, we have to try this. These are the Asiago and pepper jack cheese crisps. 12 grams of protein, one gram of carb, zero sugar, gluten and lactose free. So one serving, which is 19 wisps, I would probably have half of that, especially if I'm gonna put these on my salad, which spoiler alert is amazing. You don't even need necessarily a full serving, but 19 of them is 150 calories, 12 grams of protein. That's an excellent distribution of macros, calories versus protein. So here is what they look like, just your traditional, traditional Parmesan whisk. They smell really good. Mm. I get the Parmesan and then it kicks in with the Asiago, with the pepper jack cheese. And it's just a little bit of spice, definitely doable for a spice wimp like myself, but the flavor of the pepper jack is there. Oh my goodness. These are delicious. Such a great high protein snack option. Right next to the wisps at Walmart were these. These are the 34 degree crisp. So I picked up the sweet one, which is the sweet 
lemon and it says sweet like a cookie crisp like a cracker they're made with coconut oil and there's only one gram of sugar per sweet crisp now there's 13 crisps in a serving so if you ate 13 of them that's 13 grams of sugar that's a decent amount of sugar it's 120 calories and two grams of protein so these are designed more to be a sweet treat not something high in protein they look really good look at these these are so cute so this is one of them they are really really good sized and again one gram of sugar per crisp so good they're so crispy and light and lemony they remind me of lemon meringue pie kind of the crust part of lemon meringue pie they're really good i mean absolutely delicious there's a ton of them in here. This says that 13 cracks is a serving with 12 grams of sugar. So it's a little less than one gram per crisp. You could have half of a serving and it would be just a great sweet treat. Something that gives you a crisp factor. A lot of people like sweets also like that bit of a crisp and this is the perfect combination. Next up is Navitas Organics. I was really excited when I saw these at Sprouts. These are the Superfood PB&J Plant based organic power snack. So this has peanuts, strawberries, dates, delicious berry and nut bites, and contains six different superfoods that you can have two of them for 70 calories. So that's amazing. It's only one gram of protein and two grams of fiber. The ingredients in these are so good, like super, super, super clean. Here's what they look like. I mean, they are really good size. So this is 35 calories. They smell really good. Mm -hmm. delicious oh my goodness so good very date forward which i love dates dates are such a great natural sweet treat i taste the strawberry i get the texture of the strawberry and the peanuts give it a nice nutty crunch this is really really delicious on the back here it says nutrition on the go real food ingredients and the best in flavor and texture they're organic non-gmo kosher gluten-free and vegan they were a little pricey i want to say eight dollars eight dollars and fifty cents but it's worth spending a little extra money to put good things in our body now let's talk potato chips because i know a lot of you unlike me i'm a sweet eater i do like a good chip too though but i would pick a sweet over a chip a lot of you are chip eaters so i wanted to show you a couple of healthy chip options so this is from the brand Loeli, Yoeli, this is brand new to Sprouts. They just got these in. These are the Fonino chips and I got mine in tangy baobab, onion and moringa. So I believe like sour cream and onion maybe. 13 chips is a serving for 130 calories, one gram of protein. They are potato free, vegan, kosher, peanut free, soy free, and tree nut free. There's no artificial flavors, no added colors, no preservatives, and no trans fat. So these are not made out of potatoes. They're made out of Fonio and cassava. So I know that cassava chips are really good. They're a potato chip replacement. I've never heard of Fonio. Okay, I'm really excited for these. Oh, they're interesting looking. They kind of give me cracker vibes. So here's what they look like. They smell amazing. Oh my goodness. These are so good. Wow. Wow. I'm surprised at how good these are. Definitely sour cream and onion, crunchy, crispy. They remind me a little bit of a Pringle, but much healthier. Really, really good ingredients. Less calories, less fat. There's only six grams of fat per serving, and you're also getting two grams of fiber and only one gram of sugar with zero added sugar. These are incredible. They had other flavors. I am 100% picking those up. And then the last snack, I don't need to taste test it because I eat these all the time. I discovered these when I went to San Diego and they are incredible. These are from I1 Organics. They're the protein puffs. My favorite is caramelized onion. So good. There's seven grams of protein, which is amazing for a chip. They're baked. There's three grams of fiber. You can have an entire serving for 120 calories. And it says gluten-free, non-GMO, soy-free, organic, kosher, and vegan. Let me show you what they look like. So this is the size of them. They look like a puffed Cheeto. They're so good. They're sweet. They're crunchy. If you love onion flavored things like sour cream and onion or caramelized onion, you will love these. 
Thank you to my friend Kelly who recommended these when I was in San Diego because I haven't stopped buying them since, so I had to share them with you. So those are all of my healthy snacks. I was really excited to find so many healthy options at my local grocery store. Again, these are all from Sprouts and Walmart, but you can find these at several different grocery stores. Check your health food stores like Whole Foods, Natural Grocers, check Kroger stores. They generally have a pretty wide selection of health foods. I We don't have Aldi here, but I've heard that they offer quite a bit. Check around, see what you can find. You can also go on the brand's website and check their store locator. So for example, if you wanted to get the I1 Puffs, go on their website and see if there's a store locator that will tell you where you can find them nearby. But I would say that we batted 100%. Every single one of these is amazing, and I feel really good about having these healthy snacks on hand. So if you enjoyed today's video, give it a big, huge thumbs up. Again, subscribe if you're not, because I upload five videos a week, and we do something fun like this every Sunday. Check out the description box down below for nutrition coaching, links and discounts to my favorite things, and don't forget, come join our Facebook group. We'd love to have you. Here's to happy, healthy snacking, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.